Hey guys, got a new toy today. It's a $9 computer and it finally arrived because a lot of Kickstarters don't actually ship. So they did great. And here's the computer. Got tons and tons of pins. A lot of them are for the LCD, I believe. They're labeled on this side and there's label on that side too. And it actually works pretty well. So this was in a static bag. I took that out. But these are the only things that are in there. The computer itself and this cable. There's not even an HDMI like the Raspberry Pi. And this goes to your TV. So make sure you have a TV that can do this because it doesn't do HDMI. It doesn't do VGA. It has to be these RCA jacks. So let's hook it up. I'm going to plug it in and you can see how fast it boots up here. Three, two, one, go. Wow, that was fast. So that's the boot up screen. I can't do anything yet. I don't even have a mouse yet. I guess it's uh, like Raspberry Pi stuff, uh, Linux stuff. Completely meaningless to me. <laughs> it's been, according to my video, it's been 30 seconds, but that's since I start the video before I do the countdown. 40 seconds. Just a blank screen. Okay, 49 seconds, I got some sort of uh, logo. Mouse is working now. 59 seconds. In about a minute. Whoa, we have network stuff. I was trying to do this before. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it actually worked. See, what happened is I went over here and I told it to go find, do the connection, but nowhere is a way to uh, save it. You know, you add it, you enter all the stuff, and there is no button to say um, go. It's like, oh, there's no OK button. So I just close it, and, I, and it doesn't show up. So I thought it didn't work, but it looked like it worked up here. So I could actually hook up to my Wi-Fi now. Okay, uh, I guess it didn't save the password. Save it. Oh, wow. This thing has built-in Wi-Fi. There's no dongle or anything. So, uh, I'm going to leave that there. So, let's see if we could go to the internet, huh? Ice Weasel? There's a web browser, too. I wonder what the difference is. I'm going to do the one, the first one on the list. Takes a while to load up, but a couple other things that I've tried is actually quite fast. I should have timed this. Oh, it has Bluetooth too. <laughs> this thing is amazing. For $10, it has Bluetooth, built-in Wi-Fi, and it's fairly responsive. Okay, where are we? We are restore session. Oh yeah, I tried to launch this and it didn't work. So now I could say restore session, see what happened. I think it's just as fast as the uh, Pi. Mouse wheel works. <laughs> I did not have to install anything. There is no SD card to set up like the Pi. It just booted up and it works. Pretty amazing. So let me show you some other stuff that I played with. The game is pretty amazing. Uh, this guy here is just, I mean, look at that graphics. And I am still running the web browser, by the way. So let's see, uh, I think you press a space bar to kind of like sp sp spout all this stuff. And you're trying to basically to navigate. It's kind of like, uh, what is it, asteroids. Well, you guys don't want to watch me play. So that's that one. And then uh, that's just pretty amazing. I mean, this thing is still running. So let's see, uh, there's a task manager somewhere. Settings, settings, system, task manager. So let's see, we are using half of the memory all about, and I have a web browser running. Let's see, I'm going to leave this running. What else can we do? So let's run the other one, huh? <laughs> so we could crash this thing. So that was web browser and this is 
internet ice weasel but this one says ice weasel okay next thing uh, are these are tabs or what what are these okay these are tasks so that's one two tabs within the web browser and this is a task manager what is this guy that's my Wi-Fi I'm sure unresponsive script Wow Ajax JavaScript okay stop script I think I'm probably pushing it now so let's stop this let's stop that okay so we're back to nothing running I mean look at how so responsive it is I mean you can run a word processor this thing sucks the screen just does not uh, lend itself to uh, word processing I think the screen resolution is only 640 by let's see where's that system settings okay here's display and you could not change it 640 by 440 that's all you got whoa oh that's word processor coming up I thought I was going to be allowed to change resolution but but yeah here's a word processor it has pretty nice things what you expect I mean styles and I'm sure you could do bold and let's see if I can actually uh, control B yeah control B works yeah format menu doesn't even fit oh my gosh there's clip art it's pretty amazing look at this 1980s <laughs> clip art flowers let's put the flower in there oh look at that that's not bad at all so that's a word processor enjoy it <laughs> but that's a screen like I said you don't have any other choice either you like 640 by 440 or you go home <laughs> let me show you the last thing this game here am I still running word processor or not okay I'm only running the game now check this game it's 8 bits but sound is coming out of the TV somehow the thing is jittery now I thought it was smoother before we'll see what happens when we start playing the game start the game alt jumps left and right arrow yeah yeah I think the music is jittery now it was working much better here before the music was but you got the idea I mean I think that's pretty impressive for a ten dollar computer let's see hush escape escape oh there's even an editor I didn't even notice that before wow you can you can create your own level but i think you guys seen enough if you guys have any questions leave it in the comments and i'll see you guys later bye bye